Let's do... Okay, Liliana, summon the bear now. Yes, of course. Morgan's still on cooldown. Oh no. Back here again, but under complete different circumstances. Oh no. Pile of books at a time like this? Really? Oh. Okay. Morgan? Yes, thank you. Don't think there's really... Really? This is so bizarre. I thought it was at least a codex, but not even. Just... Random documents. I'm here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on? Are we inside some... field? Oh! Okay, guys, get the one... Get the one in the back. Whoa! What's it doing? If we all focus on one at a time, I think it should be... alright? Oh, Mind Blast doesn't even work on them, does it? Are there greater ones? Genlock Conjurer! As you wish. Should have frozen that thing immediately. Here, while you can. Oh! Liliana's gone! Shoot! There's too many lesser ones. We've gotta be careful. Oh no 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 no. Morgan, force field them, please. Everyone's health is okay, actually. But if you could revive... Liliana... That guy's back already. The force field was so quick. We gotta hurry up. Cone of cold... Guys! Smite him! I am calm. Alistair, I know you can do it too! Oh, Morgan's gone. That's really not good. Now we do battle. Oh, Liliana, you shouldn't be using the lesser ones anymore. They barely do anything. We should probably do some injury kits soon, too. I'm pretty sure Alistair still had some injuries from before because I was too stingy to heal up and all that. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Mm. It is the <laughs> Okay, you know what? You guys deal with that. I gotta deal with this guy. This guy can't keep casting random stuff on us. Uh-oh. That didn't do too much. What? <gasps> what the hell? Oh, it switched places. That's That's a really cool spell that I've never seen done before. But also really scary. So we've got to kill the lesser ones then. Right. Okay, forget about that one. Alistair, come over here. Liliana! You're being stabbed from the back! I do. Dude, it keeps switching. Look at this. That's so crazy. Why are you... Wallens, let's hurry up, all right? I need you to, like, really hurry up. Oh, goodness. How are you still not dead? That one in the middle there. Well, not having Morgan probably doesn't help. Okay, Alistair, deal with that. Come on, we've got to get him. 
Here we go, here we go. Dude. Yes! That's a really cool spell that I've never seen before though. I don't know if it's because I haven't paid attention or is it actually new. Yeah, especially since Morgan wasn't around. We did good. Four Sovereign! Getting so much money at the end here, suddenly. Morgan! You've gotta heal up. I... Yeah, let's do it. I don't think... Yeah, she doesn't have the spell that Wynn has, unfortunately. But we're fine. Scary. Let's go. It's not even the Archdemon yet. It's quiet. I shall do it. Trap right oh! ahead. Everyone stand. Liliana, you've got to help us and out. Okay, fantastic. Morgan, great. I am oh, ready. Great, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, get a load of that. But the, the crushing prison immediately goes away if I do the shock wave. That's one bad thing. What is that? Shape something? Shape changer. Is that going to do the same thing? Well, let's hope not. Great. Morgan, not so great. Hurry. Oh sh! Dang it! One second too late for Morgan yet again. It's gonna be a tough one again. I am ready. Great. Oh, I missed that it one last shot. Good job. Woo! And the emissary. We've got to get the emissary. Ah, oh, cleanse. Oh, no, 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 no. Curse of mortality. Can't heal for 19 seconds. Alistair is done. Unless if I can help him with the cleanse area. Yes, I can. Oh, removing the spellable effects from those nearby, but not the Templar himself. Actually, I needed to do this. Like, Wellens has to do it, not Alistair. Alistair, can you walk over here? I'm armed. Do I have time? I'm sorry, Alistair. Okay. Yes! We made it! Last second. Not before he wasted a greater health poultice, though, so that was wonderful. <laughs> Liliana, are you all right? On it. Okay, now we really gotta go. Send me. I think the bear died at some point too. Woo! Nice last second stoppage. And I'm glad. I'm pleased that we got to use cleanse area for real too. We've had that spell for a long time, as you say, but we never had the right spot to use it at. Sorry, Morrigan. Very well. Corpse skull at a time like this. I shall do it. Does it still think I need it for the quest? Because that's what it seems like. I, why am I picking it up? Very well. Because I'm trying to get rid of all the text, that's why. I don't want to see the, do it. the corpse name come up. It and also be because done. I'm compulsively... Because I'm compelled to. <laughs> Shape changer. Uh, we were here before. Right, and we couldn't open it? Well, Liliana should have been able to open it. I wonder why I didn't. Maybe this is new. Yeah, we don't need anything new anymore. Ooh, now Morgan has another injury. I'm gonna hold off a little bit this time. Probably should have waited. Well, depending on what injury she has, maybe. If it's minus magic, then that might not be a... Out of breath combat... Oh, out of combat, health regeneration. That's okay. That's fine. 
What's happening here? I will help however I can. Sandal? Enchantment? D You're surrounded by dark spawn corpses! What happened here? Enchantment! <laughs> they don't even bother making an excuse for why he's here. It's just uh, one last thing for you to change out your runes and all that. Okay. Plus five fire damage? Four. Hmm, it doesn't really matter at this point. Because I already have pretty good ones and Liliana barely uses her knives anyway. Unfortunately, we can't put runes on the staves. I don't think I want to take away these ones, but do I want to give it to me or Alistair? Maybe I should have one too. Undead. Um, I'll switch out the coal for the... <laughs> Does it matter? It doesn't really matter. F wait, 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 wait. If we're fighting an archdemon, archdemon is fire breathing, right? So maybe the cold would be good. Maybe that would be better. So no, I'm not making any changes. Thank you though, Sandal. Enchantment? Sandal? You have any of your dad's wares for sale? Wow, really? <laughs> they don't even bother saying anything. Okay. Might as well. Thank you, Sandal. Magic staff. We got a lot of good stuff here. These are kind of crap. Oh! Plus six damage against Darkspawn. Let's do it. And... Greater injury kit. I want a smaller injury kit, actually, but I'll take some anyway, just in case. I don't think we'll need it. But the way we're using it right now, just using it to get one injury each, the way we're doing it, we might actually need it. Oh. Distillation agent. Get a few more. Concentrator agent. Oh, but I don't have elf root. <laughs> I don't have elf root, so I might be screwed either way. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> We're at the very end already! Herbalism. Thought we weren't ever gonna open it again. How do I see herbalism? Actually, how do I see it? Here. Wait, can I not drag it over? Seems like I can't. Where do I drag it? How do I activate the herbalism on Morgan? <laughs> Why did I suddenly forget? Because it's not here, right? It's not. Well, I think we're okay right now anyway. It's not a big problem. Yeah, the greater health poultices, we have a whole bunch of them. Don't have any more normal ones. Wellens can make normal ones, right? No? Oh, but we don't have elf root, so I can't anyway. I can't even make a lesser health poultice without it. And you don't sell elf root! Oh, Sandal, where's your dad? I think realistically, your dad's probably okay. They're just giving me some excuse to be able to restock and all that here. <laughs> Gonna check out the other side first. Oh. Whoa. Well, there's no way I didn't loot all this before. This is... Last minute shopping and you need me? customization. Yeah, definitely, I think. Am I going to pick it all up anyway, even though I'm not going to use it? You bet I am. I'll sell it to Sandal. Right away. <laughs> Short bow. Nah. We all good? Morgan... Command me. Wasn't I gonna run out? Did it run out yet? I'm not sure. This side we didn't check yet. More random stuff? Well, okay, let's just have a small moment here to rest up and... think a little bit about what's happening. Oh, unforgivable. <gasps> the archdemon is a dog killer? 
No. Now we really gotta get them. This room... Oh yeah, this room we've been to. Very well. It is begun. Okay, at this rate... Whoa, we went from like 50-something to 70. As you say. Just from picking up all these crates. It is begun. It isn't better than what I have, right? Just to check. Liliana. Yeah, it's not. Ooh. Starting to lag up a little bit too. I'm scared. Okay, Sandal. He seems okay enough. He's not stressed out. So hopefully his dad is... Hey, maybe he's on the second floor. Who knows? Enchantment? <laughs> <gasps> okay. Just sell some of this. Uh, the Grey Warden one, maybe I'll keep. Maybe. Corruption. Interesting name. I'll keep it. <laughs> I'll keep it just because it has an interesting name. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I see you later on, I'll buy it back if it's important. But otherwise, who cares? We're fine. Thank you. Thank you, though. Last chance for good stuff. Oh, that last one was good. Fire arrow, malign stuff. Okay, we're good. We are good. And Liliana, you can have the fire arrows. Might want to buy a little bit more for her, actually, while we're here. Since I know you have a whole bunch. Arrow of Filth. Plus three nature damage. Fire. I'll just buy some fire. Well, five sovereign? Five sovereign for 50 arrows, really? That's kind of pricey, don't you think? Just a tad. What? Oh! I bought ice arrows. Okay, that's fine. Sure, doesn't matter. Maybe we'll save the ice arrows for the dragon again. We have much to do. Let's go. Liliana, spider. I'll do it. I could get Morgan to upgrade our weapons with the spot. Ah! Jeez. Especially because there's no music right now. That was really scary. <gasps> Speak then. You would like something? We've never been here. We've never been here. Why is it so quiet? <laughs> No traps. Allow me. I could do that for you. Why are you giving me all this crap at this last second here? Yay, elf fruit. Can make one potion with it. yet. Alright, here we go. Who is that? Alphas? That's fine, I suppose. Which of these alphas cast spells? If none, I don't care. As you say. It looks like the answer is none. Smite him. Resist it. Oh, shoot. Oh, I really have to pay attention to Morgan. Been paying too much attention to the guys up front here. We gotta hurry up. Liliana's gonna get hurt soon. Oh, great, Liliana. 
I do not think I will recover from this quickly. It's okay. Now we have an excuse to use the injury kits. Cunning. That's fine, right? Sorry, I gotta pay closer attention to you. I really should be micromanaging Morgan the most, because she's the our healer and support person here. Surprisingly, just having the alphas, it's not that bad. It's not like there's 20 of them. Wait. We have much to do. Going back downstairs again. How many floors does this place have? We were only here on the um, ground floor last time. That's a lot of doors. We can look at the map. Are we just trying to get through? Whoa, there's a lot of doors here actually. What the heck? Oh, look at the freaking map. <laughs> look at the map. Yeah, I'd like some. Let's smite. Thing. Smite is good for little groups. My but not good enough because these guys aren't grunts. Okay. Hmm, maybe a chain lightning would be good here. Takes a while though. There is an alpha. You will learn to fear. A good bit of damage, but not like amazing. Me. We're fine for now. Let's have at it. Okay. Ooh. I shall do it. Yeah, let's do some shattering and stuff. Okay, but this ain't it. I shall do it. It's just a subset of people. How are you guys doing? You have something to say, do you? <laughs> um... <laughs> I want to talk about last night. I see. Let me talk then, and you shall listen. I shall be brief. What was done had to be done. I regret it not. Let us not complicate matters further. Is that her sole reason for being with us? Even then, it's like the mission given by her mother. A mission? She doesn't even like her mom. You like me, I know you like me. I know you do! You like all of us. And what if I don't let you go? You are free to try and stop me. But let us not forget that you got something out of this as well. Your life. If you wish to spend that life being resentful of me by all means, but it lasts only so long as the child inside me does. Now let us finish this and be done. I'm not resentful at all. She approves. You have something to say, do you? Can we not simply talk? There is much to be done and quickly. Do not waste your time on me. Hmm. Well, aren't you <laughs> sweet and attentive? Meanwhile. Oh, hey! Liliana, what do you know of this place? Denerim is Feraldin's most important no! city. No! Yes. This is the seat no. of power, the jewel. She is Feraldin's heart. Her walls are strong. Okay, okay, but let's just move on. I thought you were gonna tell me something about Fort Draken. Ask away. Uh, Alistair. Of course. So how, how was last night? Hmm, Morgan's the only person that will say something new here. Hey, I'm glad we randomly did it. Okay, there's nothing here. Empty halls. So we didn't have to come in this room then. 
It was just a distraction room, but there are so many doors. Oh. Oh, gee. Oh, God. Wow. Assassin Acolyte. I shall do it. Whoa, Master Assassin. Actually, kind of scary. A good number of people here. Maybe let's get the master. Those assassins love stunning people. But you're no match when you're out in the open. Oh. My goodness. <laughs> I I can't believe that happened. Didn't pay enough attention. What injury did you get? Lillian, oh, minus three dexterity, that's no good. Minus one damage, that's also no good. I'll just use them, okay? Because I highly doubt we'll finish using them, but... Yeah, a little bit scary. Very well. It's weird how the their system of injury kits kind of discourages me from using the better ones. Because they stack, but it feels like such a waste if I don't have multiple injuries. But because you get penalized for each injury, you would normally never want to wait for multiple injuries anyway. Bit of an odd system. Trap right ahead. Trap right ahead. Where? Oh, damn. Good thing we didn't go in, huh? I shall. More again. As you like. But good thing we didn't go in. On my way. And good thing we brought Liliana. Why? Oh, it's why done. am I picking all this stuff? Of course. Mm. I guess we're supposed to be going through here. Right away. This looks right. Okay, that's definitely right. <laughs> Lock emissary. That's it? That's it? Interesting. So be it. There might be some rogues around. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. Just let the guy be crushing prisoned. We'll force field the ogre. Morgan! Okay. Okay, good. You don't get the crushing prison anybody. No, Morgan! Damn it. Can she not even heal during this time? Shoot! She might die again because I let her get the I let the emissary get the crushing prison off. Here. What? I'm sorry, Morgan. I failed you. Again. Dude, where are you going? My god. Is it trying to get Liliana? Oh! Thanks for coming back, guys. you were more careful, that wouldn't happen. Sorry, you're right. Oh, that's no good. That's no good. Just to check, we really don't have that one skill, right? That cleansing aura. Well, unless if Morgan wants to level up soon. Then no, we don't have it. Allow me. I could do that for you. 
Hmm. Emeralds. Because I really care about diamonds at a time like this. Why are mm -hmm. they giving me stuff at the end? That actually is kind of weird. It's like a weird little distraction. Maybe the arch demon is saying, hey, maybe I, I'll win if I put a bunch of chests around here. <laughs> they realize that Grey Wardens have a history of not being able to resist potions and chests for some reason. I'll do it. I totally said potions just now because I saw the word potion <laughs> when I opened the chest. And that's their winning strategy. Distract the Grey Wardens so they never make it to the arch demon. Thank you for all the potions, though. That was great. I shall do it. Maybe Morgan should life ward herself. Oh. Rooftop. Here we are! Other people got here already! Ooh. Purple breath. Usaris would have been really good here. Hello. What was that? Archdemon. Okay, Morgan, you gotta stay well back then. And I think Liliana, there's a lot of value in her su uh, summoning another extra thing. Just, um, I don't know, tank some damage, all that. The crushing prison work? I don't think it did. Okay. Hmm. Let's try not to, like, both stand in front as Alistair and Wallens. If we can. Oh, you know what? Morgan needs to freaking do Cone of Cold. Because that works on everything, right? Yes, it does! It does! Freaking do it! Not for long, but it's great nonetheless. Where are you flying off to now? Our melee guys have so much trouble just following you because you're all over the damn place. You all right, Morgan? Don't think force field. Well, force field wouldn't be good here anyway. Liliana? Hmm. I'll save the cone of cold for the next time it flies. Let's have at it. It's probably soon. I shall do it. Go. Oh, Eamon! Where is it? You guys have got to come over. Let's finish this. Oh, Eamon! Oh, oh dear. You guys have got to go in front. I see. And I've got to live. Arleman! No, Arleman! Arleman, are you okay? Can you smite this? Would it be kind of worthless though? Because. It's supposed to be for. And it lowers mana too. Shield pummel assault. Just assault. Arl Eamon. We need to keep Arl Eamon healed. Can we heal him? We can. Oh my god, he better not die. Can he die? I don't know. Some creepy whispering. 
Uh oh, uh oh. Guys, can we get this guy? It's a grunt. It's fine. Our old Eamon can get him. Oh, there's a ballistas here. First Enchanter Irving. Oh. I really gotta... Wait, wait, wait. Arl Eamon can't die. If you die, who's gonna help Alistair on the throne? Stick around! We're fine, we're fine. Although, I do see the ballistas here, and I get the impression maybe we're supposed to use them. Arl Eamon. Let's end this. Oh, dude, Arl Eamon, why are you like right up front? Should I even be focusing on that? Because the dragon's right there. I think we should, though, because these guys, are they gonna stop coming or is it like permanent? Don't have smite. There is a lot of alphas and stuff just mixed in here. I can get them, but I might free some of my own guys, which honestly, probably is worth it. I'm just thinking about the dragon here. I hope this lets up soon. Okay, get this dude. Mm. Oh my gosh, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of stuff happening in the middle here. Oh no, it got a chain lightning off. I'm worried about our Eamon! My healing ain't doing that much. Okay, Alistair, cleanse area, please. Oh, fantastic. Great. But we're all clumped up here. Emissary has the highest health, annoyingly enough. Let's get the emissary if we can. Or we can force field somebody. Okay, let's force field the emissary then. Resist it! There's too much- This is not good. This is not good. Okay, the Cone of Cold will get the grunts. Right, but it also frees the people in between. This ain't good. I need healing. Hanging in there. Somehow. Even though I'm having to pause every other second. We're hanging in there. This is fine. This is fine. That's why we have 22 greater health poultices. That's what this is for. Wellens! Do something about this guy! Is your time to Die! Oh, thank God, Alistair. I am armed. Okay. We're temporarily all right here. But I'm thinking here. Wellens, this is the final battle. You've gotta 
You've got to take that injury kit. And how much time do I have to... I mean, the dragon's right there, but there's the ballistas. Can I use the ballistas to get it? I don't think so. I see. Whoa. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, oh, I can get it now. Can I wait a sec? Wait for my guys to heal up first? They're not healing properly because we're still in the middle of battle right now. Arl Eamon, are you alright? I know I'm wasting my mana, but it's okay. I'll use the lesser potions. Just chill out, let our stamina come back a little bit. Thank you so kindly for waiting, Archdemon. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Okay, let's try this out. Did it get mad? So all of the ballistas, we have to turn them around. Off I go. Probably should have turned this one around before I hit the other one. Oh, okay, guys. I'll do it. We need to go. Oh no, that's getting like nothing in the middle. Okay, first Enchanter Irving's gonna die if I don't. Oh, you know what? These guys, these guys have gotta help. Okay, mages. First Enchanter Irving dying. Wellens, guys, why are you still all the way back here? Let's go. It shall be done. Morgan, you hand back actually. Because everyone very stupidly. They're not even here yet. Send me. Gotta go. Oh, it's on its own little battlefield, so I actually can't get to it. I see. Hmm, this might be a problem, because now we somehow activated these guys. Alright! Thank you, Morgan. Fantastic chain lightning. Mage is doing good work. Yeah, I think they should focus on doing stuff while I go activate the ballista, which I'm guessing is needed to progress. You protecting everybody here? We're all right for now. Oh, Alistair, why are you here? Wow! Wow, Wellens, are you serious? Did you get it? At least? I can't believe that happened. She, like, walked right in front. Dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Keep hitting it? Oh, I wonder if we could have just used those ones to keep hitting it. But they weren't even hitting, right? Only this one is really... Okay. This is working. As you wish. Well, this is working. We have done well. I shall do it. Now it's gonna go elsewhere. I am ready. Send me. Ah, and I have to find the right ballista every time. I'm sorry, that took me so long to understand. Well, we got it now. Oh, that one we can actually walk to. Actually, not sure if that one can be gotten by the ballistas. Oh, Morgan! Morgan! I am sorry! I am so sorry. Do, do a good old group healing. So sorry about that. I shall do it. So be it. You guys are all standing in front of the ballista. Either way, I don't think it was the right. Oh, Lord. It wasn't the right angle, either way. Cardo! Oh, people are dying! People are dying because I was messing around! 
Did Arl Eamon just die? Oh my god. That better not be permanent. I swear. Come on. Alistair! Alistair. You can do it. I know you can. I want to give Alistair the kill, actually. I don't even care about the glory for myself. Oh, Alistair! Yeah, that's right. Oh! Oh, there's another Ballista here. Yeah! Don't let people say you're not fit for king. Why is there an invisible guy in the back? Did you see? <gasps> oh, wait, what? Oh! Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I guess we're stealing your kill, Alistair. I think that fight took a lot longer than it had to because I had no idea what I was trying to do <laughs> half the time. The most annoying thing about the dragons is how big they are and how they fly around and stuff. Uh oh. Uh. The baby, right? Whoa! It's over. But did Arl even make it? And then it was over. Oh, Arl Eamon. With the Archdemon dead, the Darkspawn Horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come. But the blight had been ended before it had truly begun. Slayer of the Archdemon, King Alistair! Ferelden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its new king. Grey Warden stood redeemed, and a new age had begun. But at what cost? My friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible for our victory. Of those who stood against the Darkspawn Siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. The one who led the final charge against the Archdemon remains with us still. An inspiration to all she saved that day. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the hero of Ferelden. The first Grey Warden to defeat the Blight since Garahel four centuries ago. My friend, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. I think it only appropriate that I return the favor. Is there any boon that you might request of Ferelden's king? If it is within my power, I will grant it. The house pay for what they did to my family? He already died. His son is still around, but I don't know him. I'm not going to think about him too hard. Hmm. The sacrifices of the Wardens should not be forgotten again. Now that's a very good point. I think we can begin with a monument here in Denerim, dedicated to the Grey Wardens who have fallen. 
Duncan, Riordan, all of them. And it is high time some scholars were collected to learn more about the Darkspawn. We'll face them again, with the Dwarves as well as here. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arl Hau, is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild, following the example of those who went before them. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? Hmm. I don't know yet. We'll see. Well, I hope you'll stay here in court while you decide. Your skills are sorely needed. Uh, there's a group of Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. <laughs> Just tell the guard at the door when you're ready. Oh, it's a first-person cutscene. Alistair looking right at me. He's looking more and more kingly already! Good, good. Wait, more again? Oh. After the battle, Morrigan disappeared. Morrigan's critical eye is not reserved solely for others. No. <laughs> That's it. After the battle, Morrigan disappeared. Hmm. I got one last level up, I guess. Because that really matters. Might as well. Oh, I've gotten everything from my specializations already. Because I gave myself the books all the time. It really doesn't matter anymore. Okay. The Archdemon is no more. The people of Ferelden may now live in peace. We have no quests. We've done it. We've done it, Alistair. But Morgan... Damn, she left fast. Fergus! Fergus! Arl Eamon, I'm so glad to see you're okay. Alistair. Hey, you know what? I was very shaky about this choice, but Alistair dueled Logan and Wan with the help of 50 potions and also defeated the Archdemon. Who's more fit to be king in these lands? So, we made it. I'm impressed, aren't you? The odds were completely against one of us actually getting to the Archdemon. But of course you would make it. I knew you would. I guess Morrigan was telling the truth after all. About the ritual. The rest of the Grey Wardens haven't arrived yet for Morlay. But they've already sent questions. What should I tell them? I don't know. What were they wrong about? That a Grey Warden has to die? Hmm. If they're Grey Wardens, I guess we should tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. Then a Malefica saved you and then ran off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure you want that. Or Morrigan. Or me, even. No, I suppose I'll just keep that to myself. I can shrug and look stupid. It's a talent. Speaking of Morrigan, do you know where she went? I'm told she vanished right after the battle. No goodbyes or anything. She doesn't want to be followed. Very dramatic. I don't imagine she'd be easy to find if she didn't want to be. Uh, at any rate, I can see Arleman giving me that look. More king stuff, I suppose. It can never wait. And if I don't get the chance some other time... Thanks. For everything. Hey, you know what? I'm really glad to see that we had the jitters on the first day, but you're looking... You really are looking more kingly already. I'm so glad to see him. This is hardly goodbye. I know, but I'm king now. And that means things will change. I guess we'll see. I'll let you get to your adoring public. They want to see the hero of Ferelden, and who am I to keep them waiting? The crowd is waiting for you outside. We can speak more afterwards if you like. Furious! When I heard that my little sister was not only a Grey Warden, but also leading Ferelden into battle, I was surprised, to put it mildly. Father, he would have been so proud of you. I know I am. You've done good. What happened to you, Fergus? 
I never made it to the Battle of Ostagar. We were still scouting in the wilds when we were attacked by a party of Darkspawn. Most of my men were killed. I woke up two weeks later in a chastened hut, wounded and feverish. By the time I was able to sneak out of the wilds, you were already marching to Denerim. I tried to get word to High Ever. You can imagine what happened, I suppose. Wait, what? Has the whole thing just been two weeks? From beginning to end? Really? No, it can't be, right? Because the thing about Orzammar to Circle Tower is like a full seven days or something. How paid for what he did. I killed him myself. Hal was a greedy, traitorous bastard. I just wish I'd been there to help you kill him. At least Amaranthine now belongs to the Grey Wardens. There's some justice in that, I think. I need to go back to High Ever. See if I can clean up the mess Hal made of it. I will see you soon, I hope. Of course you will. Good. High Ever won't be the same without everyone around. Take care of yourself, you hear? Or I'll find you and nag you like mother did until you're ready to tear out your hair. Wow, my brother just randomly showed up at the end here. After everything is over, you could have helped! Go on. I'll make sure I see you before I head back to High Ever. So it survived after all. My impression that all creatures made of flesh were hopelessly squishy was, uh, premature. <laughs> you thought I would die, I suppose? Well, it is going to die eventually. Just not right now. It has made me revise my opinion of its kind. My kind. I am, or at least was, a dwarf. A creature of flesh. I have to keep reminding myself that. In fact, I think I may even try to become one again. Come again? Wynne has offered to accompany me to Tavinta to speak with the mages there. The Circle of Minrathrus has the largest collection of arcane knowledge in Thedas. If it is possible to reverse this process, then the knowledge to do so will be there, or that is my hope. And if not, then I will keep looking. I have nothing if not time, yes? Mm. On some level, I want our party to be intact, but at the end of a long journey, it's not goodbye. Maybe it's time for us to travel out and see new stuff. But I could come with you. Hmm. I would not object, but surely it has better things to get up to. I intend to return eventually, unless I finally decide to destroy all pigeons everywhere. That may take a while, but otherwise I will come back. If it happens to one day see a tiny little dwarf who appears very nervous of being squished, that will be me. Until then, I wish it well. It, you, have been a fine friend. Aw, Shale, thank you. These people seem very excitable. One would think they'd be quieter and wanting to rest after that whole ordeal. The Blight's been around for a while, and people just want to celebrate. It's the adrenaline. Arl Eamon. It is over. I can barely believe it. You stopped the Civil War and then defeated the Blight. On behalf of Ferelden, allow me to say thank you. It truly cannot be said enough. <sighs> It was a close call. We were lucky. Well, let's not tell the masses just yet. As far as they're concerned, you saved the day without breaking a sweat. Let them have that. It's good that you're staying here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden will have influence, and there is much to be done. Myself, I will be remaining here to help Alistair. Tegan will take over the rule of Redcliffe, at least for the time being. Connor seems well enough, and Isolde refuses to speak of what happened. She says she never wants to go back. I cannot thank you enough for saving them. They are the joy of my existence. But here I am rambling on. I shall let you get back to your celebration, Warden. Enjoy it while you can. Where's the food? There's no food here. Of all things. Oh, Liliana is wearing something different. Oh, I'll save you for last. Hold on. Hey, everyone's wearing something different. This is the party. This is the party. Sten standing far away. Ogryn. The hero of Ferelden. <laughs> my, my. How does it feel? <laughs> it's a little strange. Of that I have no doubt. 
It's a title you'll be wearing for a long time to come, just as Loghain wore his. But it's not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask for better? Hmm, I wonder how long the love will last. Until you do something wrong. And then they will enjoy tearing you down just as rapidly. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as first enchanter. But I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to travel. Shale has expressed a desire to go to Devinter to look into a way to regain her mortality. And uh, I will join her. Hey, what about... Yeah, I just remembered. What about Wynne's whole Vessel of the Spirit thing? Because it definitely, when we talked about it before, it sounded like she was going to perish as soon as her task in this mortal realm is done. That being stopping the blight. But what about your problem? It's true, I don't know how much time I have. Maybe not very long at all. So, I shall see as much of the world as the Maker allows. Perhaps this is a gift in the end. A nudge in the right direction? I doubt we will meet again, my dear. If not, Aww. please accept my best wishes. No! Why would you say that? All this talk is tiring. I think it is time for me to sample some of that lovely cider I smelled earlier. Now, where did it go? Win. No. I will be relieved when all this pomp and ceremony is done. Such events are perfect opportunities for assassins, after all. I can't help but expect the crows to appear at any moment, which would be a welcome break, mind you. You think the crows will still come after you? Eventually. With Talison dead, it may take them time to figure out what has happened. But they are like the tides. Predictable. You know, it does occur to me that staying in one place is only going to invite the crows to find me that much quicker. While fun, that might eventually get complicated. You said earlier that you are planning on remaining here. Is that true? I know. I just said I don't know. But everyone seems to have taken it as me remaining here for now. Anything could happen, I suppose. Hmm. And if I said I was thinking of moving on, seeing the sights, uh, meeting new people, and killing a few? You can go if you come back. This is true. If I happen to return on occasion with a string of crows behind me, be a good friend and kill them for me, yes? Yes, I think that will work, sad as I am to part company. Well then, I suppose I shall be leaving soon. Mm, perhaps Parvolin. The Canari are pleasant folk, I hear. <laughs> I hope fate decrees we meet again. Bon viati, as we say back home. Drink well and be merry. Life is good. On this day, we're all heroes of Ferelden. Does the Ferelden monarchy make much use of assassins? Hmm, I wonder if this is a good time to ask. <laughs> ask Alistair. There's only one person left in the monarchy. Ogryn. Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. <laughs> the ale up here is actually good. Orzammar ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. <laughs> Go figure. Enjoying yourself already, I see. After what we went through, <laughs> I think I've earned it. I think you've earned it. So I guess you're staying here in Denerim? Unless my hearing's bad. Which happens. I don't know. Why? What are you doing? I'm thinking I'll stick around myself. <laughs> At least for a bit. I got offered a spot in the human army. <laughs> and mm. not as a mascot either. You know, these humans aren't bad for all their long legs. Hey, I made you leader of our second team for a reason, and I'm glad to see that maybe you're finding a new purpose again. Now, if you went back to that girl in the Spoiled Princess, Maybe she would talk to you again. General Ogren? Not bad. Yeah, makes me wish Bronca was still around so she could see what she's missing. <laughs> yeah, stupid girl. And since we're more or less done adventuring for now, I just wanted to say you're alright. 
for a human. And you're all right for a dwarf. <laughs> yes. I don't come by... by friends very often. I'm glad to call you one, Warden. Well, our time together was short, but I'm glad you were with us, Ogryn. Mmm, pickle juice. Mmm, <laughs> very intelligent thoughts. <laughs> Try! He bounces around, barking happily. Oh! <laughs> That's it? Someone give my boy a big, fat, juicy bone. It is good to see you again, Kadan. These people, they call you hero. It is a strange word, but I think I understand its meaning. The Arishok on occasion has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, one who serves as an example to others. Such examples are always made after their death, however, a death in service to the Kun. A living Kunoran Vel would be too proud. Do the Kunari celebrate and put on parades? When a Kunoran Vel is declared, certainly. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is madness. That would be quite a sight. It is interesting. It can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore order. There may even be executions. Oh god. I suppose I should tell you. I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. Hmm. I could choose to go with people, but I don't think... Somehow I don't get the impression that that's gonna be... what actually happens. So I'll just let them go. That'll be a long trip home. Yes. It will be difficult to travel alone, after so much time spent with companions. It must be said. You found my sword and gave me a chance to restore my honor. I owe you a great debt. You helped me, as well. It's been good. It has. That one of the Baz, a foreigner, would become known as Kadan to me. Unthinkable. Yet here it is. Perhaps I shall see you again one day. Until then, may you always find the path you seek. Farewell, Kadan. Farewell, Stan. Where is the cake? <laughs> I was told there would be cake. The cake is a lie. When did Portal come out? Portal came out before 2009? Really? I'm gonna go look it up right now. Oh, Portal came out in 2007. Oh, wow. Damn, time flies. Unexpected reference here. Not yet, of course. Last but not least. Liliana and Schmooples! So here we are. The conquering heroine has won the day, and now she takes her bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. Back to your barred ways already, I see. But does a heroine get her girl? <laughs> yes. Yes, she most certainly does. You know, I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you, and look what you did. It's a miracle. It truly is. So, if I heard right, you'll be staying here in Denerim. As it so happens, my plan is to do exactly the same thing. Hmm. What a coincidence. But you wouldn't find that boring? I'm thinking that spending some time in one place might be a nice change of pace. At any rate, I should let you get back to your celebration before someone drags you away. I look forward to seeing you again afterwards. Okay. If I write a tale about all this, I'm leaving out details on the food. They don't even make good food here in the palace. <laughs> I guess I'm staying. I would have liked the between the options that we got to choose, maybe travel around a little bit first and then come back. But considering how Alistair might need my help, okay, I'm okay with staying as well. That seems reasonable. Are you ready, my lady? The crowds outside are getting restless. Morgan's absence is deeply felt. Restless? What am I supposed to do? Just put in an appearance, so I understand it. The people just want to see their hero in person. 
I'm supposed to take you to your escort. Full brigade, their armor all shined up and everything. They're really honored to be guarding you, and let me tell you. Let's go then. Right. I'll take you there now. Follow me. In the months that followed his coronation, Alistair proved to be a popular king, if largely unwilling to involve himself in matters of governing. He traveled often, making appearances in towns throughout Ferelden to the great delight of the commoners. They referred to him as a king with a common touch, even if a few knew it was a simple aversion to life at court. Well, he really is a commoner, right? That's how he grew up. News that the Urn of Sacred Ashes has been found in Ferelden did not spread outside the Chantry until Brother Genetivi made an announcement several months after the defeat of the Darkspawn. The manuscript detailing his research and his experience with Andraste's cult drew huge interest among scholars throughout Thetis. Some years later, the Chantry announced that the resting place of Andraste's ashes had indeed been found. A ripple of excitement spread among the pious people of Thetis, with many undertaking pilgrimages to see the ashes or partake of their healing powers. Ooh, the temple has become a tourist attraction. <laughs> Following months of effort, the Tower of the Circle of Magi was finally cleansed of the last spirits to slip through the veil. No further abominations were created, and First Enchanter Irving was pleased to declare the circle safe. All that could be saved had been. With the slavers shut down in the alienage, the lot of the city-born elves improved for a time. The new king even named the local elder to his personal court. A scandal among the humans, but a sign of new hope for the elves. Hmm. Shiani continued to be an outspoken member of the alien niche community, and in time became the new elder. The outspokenness earned her frequent trouble, but served her people well. Kind of get the impression that Shiani might have been, or she should have been a bigger character. She gets brought up a lot, but she didn't actually do too much. Arl Eamon remained in Denerim for some time, acting as a chancellor and chief advisor to King Alistair. Tegan ruled over Redcliffe in his stead, and was surprised to find himself well-loved by the villagers, who were still grateful for the nights he spent defending their lives. In time, Eamon abdicated in favor of his brother, an event the locals greeted with approval and enthusiasm. Mm. Connor was sent off to study at the Circle, and considering his earlier experiences, he excelled in his training and easily passed the harrowing to become a full mage. At his father's urging, Connor accepted a position in the winter to undertake formal study of the Fade. The Dalish elves prospered after the siege at Denerim, having earned much respect for their part in the battle. For once, human lands welcomed the wandering folk. The new keeper, Lanaya, was respected both amongst the Dalish as well as in Ferelden court. She was the voice of reason, and other Dalish clans would turn to her to help resolve disputes with human folk. As for the werewolves, now freed of their curse, they remained together and took the surname Wolf in memory of what they once were. They eventually became the most successful animal trainers in Thetis, and each year would gather to light a candle in memory of the lady who had loved them so well. Wolf, huh? Maybe something to pay attention for in future games? In Orzammar, King Harrowmont found himself in a protected, protracted battle against Balin's rebellion that left him unable to gain the stability he needed. The clan lords objected to many of his measures in the assembly, and only his efforts to increase the dwarves' isolation from the surface met with any success. Really? Even after the blight? In time, Harrowmont's health began to fail, some claimed it was poison, while others said it was a flagging spirit. Either way, after a protracted illness, the king finally passed away. The wrangling in the assembly for a successor began almost immediately. Oh damn, that was fast. He was kinda old, especially compared to Balin. Brother Burkle's new chandra in Orzammar drew a surprising number of converts among the dwarves. They quickly attracted a great number, a great deal of anger from more conservative quarters, and before long, the assembly severely restricted the Andrastians' rights. What? Wow. Brother Burkle resisted and was slain while being arrested during a peaceful demonstration in the commons. The assembly claimed this was an accident, but news of the resulting riots reached the Chantry on the surface, where the Divine even contemplated a new exalted march. Oh my god! The Dwarven Mage, Dagna, ultimately completed her studies at the rebuilt Circle Tower. Eventually, she published a comprehensive theory of how lyrium vapors relate to the supply of magic. It gained a great deal of attention. 
You go, girl, Dagna. Although the Anvil of the Void was destroyed, rumors about its location crept into Orzammar. Years later, thanks to the defeat of the Darkspawn on the surface, a few determined smiths managed to locate the Anvil's remains. No! They examined the ruins of the Anvil, and upon returning to Orzammar with their findings, convinced the Shaperit to attempt to recreate Keridan's research. Oh no! A new golem was created, bound with a spirit taken from the Fade. No! Just one? The golem immediately went insane. <laughs> okay. Killing several shapers before it was destroyed, the research was branded excessively dangerous and sealed away. Whispers of its existence circulated throughout Orzammar, however, and the man among the smith cast to reopen Keridan's research refused to abate. Despite the danger? <gasps> as good as a word, Morrigan disappeared once the Archdemon was slain. Someone of Morrigan's description was seen traveling alone months later, heading west through the Frostback Mountains, and she may have even been with a child. Oh, she's all alone too. That's hard, single mother and all that. Mm, no one to take care of her. There was no word of her after that, with Flemeth dead, or at least gone. Is she really dead? Mm, the chances of tracking her down were slim indeed. One cannot help but wonder, however, what became of the child? What were Morrigan's plans? These questions must remain a mystery for now. As for Wellens' companions, they went their separate ways. Liliana, however, elected to remain at the side of her love, at least for a time. What? At least for a time? We can move together. We don't have to. You want to break up with me just because you don't want to stay at Denerim? As the Blighted Lands began to heal and the Grey Warden slowly rebuilt the Order in Amaranthine, they discovered the fight against the Dark Swan was not yet complete. Although the Horde was rooted and had dissolved upon the Archdemon's death, many of the more powerful Dark Spawn survived to organize roving warbands that preyed both upon the land and upon each other. These warbands spread havoc, and some even journeyed west into Orlay or crossed the Waking Sea by the deep roads. They proved incredibly difficult to wipe out. But there are tales yet to be told. This tale ended when Wellen sank her blade into the Archdemon's head and destroyed it forever. It was not the last that Ferelden would hear of her, however. And that is it. Dragon Age Origins. Whew! Just gonna take a sip of water here, because that was a lot of reading at the end. Probably because there's lots of split paths and they can't afford to make cutscenes for all of them, I guess. That would be kind of expensive. Hmm. I'm a little bit surprised we lived. Because throughout the conversations we had with our companions, especially at camp and stuff with Wynn and whoever, kind of got the impression that, oh, the great hero is supposed to make this great sacrifice and they will go down as a legend. Which we could have chosen. That was a valid path. But we didn't choose it because this, <laughs> this strange child dark magic ritual business came up. Which I'm very curious about, but man, the lack of detail on it. I wonder if when Origins was made, did they already plan on making a second one? Because otherwise, I can imagine this dark ritual stuff would be very like, Oh, wh what's going on? I want to find out more, but we don't get to. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, that was, um... This was a blast. I'm trying to organize my thoughts a little bit here. But I was engaged throughout the whole story, basically. There wasn't really any point that I thought, Oh, this is kind of boring. M mechanically, maybe? Like I said before, I feel like the dungeons, if they chose to cut all of it in half, I wouldn't complain. Because I... For me, the combat... Yeah, a lot of people say that it doesn't age well, but mm, it definitely is a little bit different than what I f first expected. Because I was basically expecting Mass Effect, but medieval. So Mass Effect, the gameplay of Mass Effect is much more mainstream, I guess. Whereas Dragon Age Origins, the tactics-based gameplay is... Um, I wouldn't say it didn't age well, it's just not what I was expecting. And I can, I feel like if you spend time doing all the tactics, it could be pretty fun. 
in the beginning, I really didn't like it that much. But as I got used to it, well, I liked it enough. Uh, I learned enough about it to do what I wanted to do with it. But I wouldn't really be like, hmm, let's try out different setups and see how well that works out. Like, it's it's a means to an end for me, but it was fun enough. I did find, um, I did learn to find joy in it. And yeah, it was, it was fun. But again, the dungeons could have been shorter. Hmm. Actually, in hindsight, the fade didn't really bother me that much because we had codex and stuff, but some of the other ones were quite lengthy, like the multiple floors of the Circle Tower, or even at the very end here. The Fort Draken floors, Brazilian Forest Ruins, Deep Roads was a little bit long. I appreciate that in every map of all these places I mentioned, they did try to do some new things. Like, there was always something interesting in all of them, but yeah, overall it was just a, a little bit longer, but it's okay. It's fine. We made it through, and we did it. Hmm, I guess the, the background lore of how the Blights come about every 400 years, and how this is the fourth one, I feel like because, I don't know, because video game things, I expected that we would find out more about that front, but at this point, we're just enjoying having killed the fourth dragon, the Archdemon. But what about afterwards? The threat overall is still around? I guess that might be what the next games are about then. It's always the Blight, the Darkspawn, they're not gonna stop being a thing. It'll it'll still be here. Which, okay, okay. I think I read before, unlike Mass Effect, because Mass Effect follows one character the whole time, but Dragon Age 2 and 3? Do you call it 3 or do you just say Inquisition? We play different characters, right? But in the same world. So I'm not sure how, how far the um, time gaps are. But anyway, before we even talk about the other games, <laughs> something I found a little bit funny and puzzling is uh, I don't know why people keep asking me if I'm gonna play the DLC or 2. Like, the entire point of why I'm playing, why I'm starting at Origins is because I'm interested in all of them eventually. And yeah, so th there's your answer. Yes, we'll get through whatever DLC is there. Seems like people have been mainly asking about the Awakening DLC, even though I see that there's multiple. Do we just not care about the other ones? I don't know. Um, I'll look into it. Tell me in the comments if you want. But I don't see why we wouldn't go through all of them, basically. As well as the Origins, the other character Origins, and um, I want to look at the lands meet as well. So, finish the base game here, but I think our time with Origins is not quite done. There's still quite a good chunk left. Definitely get the impression this game is one of those timeless classics that, in spite of there not being a remaster or a remake, people will always find joy in it. People who enjoy a good story. And I don't think the graphics are even that bad. <laughs> the biggest problem with Dragon Age Origins is not the graphics. It's the, um, the inventory management, I think. Like, my god, it's... People these days probably wouldn't have patience for it, but it was, um... To be frank, quite padded out the playtime, but you know, that's uh, I'm willing to put up with it for the story, it doesn't matter, whatever. There's still so much about this world I'm curious about. In the beginning, when we were still trying to learn the lore about the Darkspawn, well by the end here, we learned that, oh, okay, so they come from brood mothers and stuff, but from a more existential point of view, like why does the blight happen every 400 years? That seems so deliberate, like somebody planned it that way. And where did Darkspawn really come from? Is it really because the Winter Imperium mages became contaminated and... No? No? Well, originally? These days, not anymore, of course, because we know the, the Broodmother stuff. But yeah... Does the Maker really exist? Is the, the way the Chantry is telling the story really what's happening here? Has the Maker abandoned us? Will the Maker come back? So many questions. Not really many answers, but th this world is magical though. So I think that can explain a lot already. Magic exists in this world. It's not just a medieval setting where we believe in some religious thing that may or may not be real. We don't have the capacity to find out if it's real or not. I guess, yeah, is there really a greater order, a higher order being that's really controlling this? I don't know if that's something they'll want to answer. Now, things just are. Like, why does magic exist? Why do dwarves exist? Why do elves exist? These are just... It's just the way it is, right? But what about stuff like the Golden City? 
the golden city getting contaminated and God, um, uh, the maker getting mad and all that. I want to know more. I want to know. I feel like that's a really good position to put the player in. If they finish one game, they're like, wow, that was a great game. I want to know what happens more in this world. So, hey, that's the position I'm in right now. And I, I just don't... In the beginning, when people asked me if I want to play Dragon Age 2, what I said was, if I liked one, I'll play it. But I... I I feel like at this point, there's no way I'm not going to play it, and Inquisition, and... Four! That's going to be exciting, huh? Yeah, we gotta hurry up, don't we? Because the next game, uh, the, the fourth game is coming out next year. Hmm. This, uh, was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, actually. Like, Mass Effect 1 is, what, 30 hours? And then this is... pushing 90 hours, really. All of which were well spent, to be fair. So, I am... happy. Yeah. Okay. I'm probably gonna take a few days break first, just to, uh, you know, revel in the aftermath of becoming the hero of Ferelden and all that. And then we will move on to the rest of Origins. How does that sound? Thank you for joining me with Dragon Age so far, and I hope to continue to see you in the upcoming videos as well. Bye for now.